Hey friends, Kate from Venison for Dinner here. Welcome to our weekly chaos video. Um, I think most people call them day in the life. Welcome to our chaos. We are just swimming in whey. So I'm taking some whey directly after cheese making and watering it down kind of halfers. I already had two buckets and watered the whole greenhouse with it. And I'm just gonna water some plants in here. They really don't need to be watered very much, but I'm gonna water them with whey because we just have so much whey, our chickens can't keep up with it. This is one thing about not having pigs right now, but we just really don't need any more pork, so we're not raising any more pigs. I did tell my friends who milk for us, they both have pigs right now, and I'm like, bring buckets when you come to milk. Take home whey, take home skim milk, feed your pigs. Um, so they are gonna do that, but even at that, we still have lots. And Marius is like, you don't need to give it away. Water the plants, water the fields. He's like, I don't care if you just dump it in a pasture he's like you're just adding fertility back into our soil it's not a bad thing so it's got to be more intentional about watering things with whey in march i impulse bought from uh, elderberry grove some elderberry cuttings and they've been in my fridge ever since and i admitted to my mom that i had forgotten them in the fridge and she uh, got right on us planting them so we decided they needed to be somewhere that was easy for us to water them so right in front of the garden here, we, I think we have 14 of these. So we're doing seven on either side and we're doing them in the landscape class so they don't have competition. But you can see there, maybe you can't see. They're trying to do things. So we gotta plant them. And all my mint, I have lots of different types of mint. Apple mint, peppermint, chocolate mint, spearmint. And we love mint tea, so I'm just gonna dry them and combine them for mint tea for winter. So we got three boxes of cherries from a family member that they brought up from a family member and we were debating what we were gonna do with them. Marius was saying about freezing some. I was thinking about maybe canning some. Really, we're gonna just eat most of them. But I don't know here. We decided to can some pie filling. I'm doing it in pints, not quarts, because uh, it's so precious, I won't really make pies. It'll be for on top of ice cream and cheesecake and that sort of thing. So, pitting away we are. Oh boy, Lily. Did we do it again? Hi, Hazel. Did we have a friend? <laughs> this is Rocky, and he is an alpine buckling. He is... Born in April, so he's young, but by the time he's old enough to breed everybody, they'll be ready to breed. Hey, Rocky. Oh, Daisy likes him. Hazel and Lily are uncertain if they like him. Rowan, don't get in the middle of them. I've got romaine lettuce washed, dried, etc more waiting, we need more salad. And I made my Caesar salad dressing, which is on venisonfordinner.com. Um, I am used garlic scapes. I used like half a dozen in a double batch. So I'm making um, oh, croutons in bacon fat out of some um, bagels, sourdough everything bagels that were a little stale. They'll make delicious croutons. Then I cooked a uh, chicken, actually a rooster, on low with some water and white wine. No, sorry, it was on high. It was frozen solid this morning at like nine o'clock before we left the house. I took it out, I picked off all the meat, and then I just have it in here sitting above the still warm crock pot. I did ladle a bit of the warm juices in there, put a lid on to keep it warm. Once this whole situation is done and we eat dinner, I'll add water and such and make broth. The weather forecast does not look like soup weather, so I may just be canning this broth. Um, we usually eat dinner at six. It is 6.05 and Marius has not come in from fencing. So it's a good thing I was kind of behind on dinner. I'm just making croutons now. So hopefully he'll be in soon. And if you haven't guessed it, we're kind of having like chicken Caesar salad with croutons. Sounds delicious. It was Marius's request this morning, so. We made it happen, and Amos, that jar of honey was so close to hitting your toe. Wow. So we went to pick up that goat buckling this morning, this afternoon. 
It was a long day. Amos was car sick multiple times on the way there. And Hamish was car sick on the way back. And Rowan hid in a store. Mom was with her and she, I guess she just slipped right into the clothing rack and then was quiet and wasn't answering my mom when she called. And I was in the car with a sleeping Amos because he was finally sleeping after his car sickness. So I just stayed in the car. And yeah, mom said the entire store was looking for her. So that was a little stressful. So we've been having a low key afternoon since we got home because we are wiped. We're gonna have dinner, milk. And then I'm gonna lay in bed and drink tea because my allergies are kind of bothering me. My throat is scratchy. And um, I'm gonna read. After milky, I'm gonna read until bedtime. Um, yesterday I took antihistamines, like a non-drowsy 24 hour one, like loratadine or something, which I've taken many times before. It knocked me out, guys. Like, I was like drugged. Like that was, I yeah, I slept for like an hour and a half. Marius came and woke me up multiple times because it was like um, 5.30, but he was like, it's okay. Like you, you obviously need rest. And I was like, I feel like I'm drugged. Like, ugh, it was brutal. Now go run with your goat. I'm not playing with the goat. You have to. <laughs> you take it away from its friends. You have to be its friends. It has new friends now. New friends? Yeah, you. Go play. Now we're gonna sit here and watch milk come in the bucket. We're working towards Mac being able to milk on his own with Hamish as his helper. So then I would have Freya as a helper and Mac would have Hamish as a helper and we each milk once a day. Um, I wanna do this because I really don't wanna milk twice a day anymore. I've been doing it for a while. Um, so, well, since Jessica, you're gonna need more there, Mac. Um, I'd like to go back to me just milking once a day. And Mac wants to be able to milk on his own because then they can milk extra to then skip to go away and then I milk for them. And I mean, not that they can't go away, but you know. and, um, the boys like to be able to milk on their own because then they have like some uh, clout, so to speak, because they can be like, we'll milk for you if we can. So they're motivated to be able to milk on their own too. There was no space left in the fridge, so I had to skim this bucket of cream. And in the sunshine of the evening light, what a glorious, magical food it is. Beautiful. We've got broth, sourdough starter, cream in the half gallon, cork in the gallon. That recipe is on medicineforder.com. And then a wheel of Gouda is brining there and the beautiful outside. Marius finished this fence and I was calling the cows wondering why they wouldn't come in. I think they don't know how to get out of this new field. <laughs> So I gotta walk them back to the gate and get them out of here. I was like, where are those cows? I couldn't see them over the grass. And I was like, oh man, did my cows get out or my cows lost? No, the cows just don't know how to get out of the new fence. <laughs>